So it's been a pretty fun morning here at the uh, Canada Aviation and Space Museum. We are getting uh, pretty much a very first peek of the Star Wars Identities exhibit. How excited are you to be working so closely with uh, the, the Lucasfilms team? Oh, it's incredible. We were talking to uh, the people from Lucas last night, and uh, I have to say, my job is awesome, but the, the curator from the, uh, the Lucasfilm mm -hmm. branch is just incredible. She's already working on the next film. It's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and the fact that we're seeing some costumes from, from the actual movies, the original costumes. Darth Vader is actually here in the building. That uh, I'm almost nervous being around it because I don't want to, to hurt it. Yeah, well, we, as people come around the corner and, and sort of see Darth Vader, it's amazing. Everybody sort of stops in their tracks and, and uh, you, can, you can almost hear him breathe actually mm -hmm. as you come around. It's very cool. Now, Stephen, if it hadn't have been so chilly out today, I would have suggested that instead of the typical white dress that Leia wears that I would go with this one however I'm not sure it's family friendly uh, <laughs> I think it's friendly, but I'm not sure about family. No, it's very friendly, though. Absolutely. So now we've got a lot of exhibit to show people throughout the morning. But first of all, uh, we, we had a bit of a special opening yesterday. What types of people did you see coming to that? Well, we had everything from, uh, from some of our staff who came in. Mm -hmm. uh, we certainly had a cross-section of, uh, of Ottawa, uh, right up to the, the Minister for Canadian Heritage, who brought his uh, new baby and his wife, which, which was very, very cool. Um, and we also had seven-foot... Uh, 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 Chewbacca. We had Darth Vader who stood next to me on the stage and that was a really, that was kind of a difficult moment, I have I, to say. I can understand that that might be kind of eerie. Now, uh, and you mentioned that there was several generations of people though. Absolutely. Um, as people went through, one of the things that really struck me as we were walking through it was that uh, some of the 10 year old and 11 year old children are, are working or going through the exhibition with their parents who saw the original films when they were 10 or 11, mm -hmm. which is very, very cool. And um, it's one of the few exhibitions I've ever seen where it works on multi, a multi-generational level. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it really appeals to everyone. Let's move down the hallway. Absolutely. Because we've got these bracelets on. Absolutely. And this makes the exhibition pretty interactive. What do these bracelets do? So this bracelet is basically who you are. You're going to build a character using this bracelet mm -hmm. at 10 interactive stations. Um, as you move through, you're going to make decisions, as you do in your life. And when you come out of it, you actually have created a character that then you you will get by email okay. at home so that you can show your friends what you are. So I've chosen to be an Ewok. Who? What race have you chosen? Uh, I'm a Wookiee. Okay, excellent. I like it. Okay, and then uh, from there, you had to—I had to choose my fur color, uh, types of things I'm interested in doing, what what types of vacation I'd like to take. I chose hang gliding. Um, <laughs> now, why would you choose a Wookiee? Why would I choose a Wookiee? I don't know. I'm just—I just gravitate towards some seven-foot hairy thing. I don't know what it is, but I, the first time I went through I was a Wookiee. I ended up as a Wookiee fighter pilot, so okay. I, I don't know why. So we're at the next uh, next station here, uh, one of ten interactive stations. So what do we do here? All right, on this one we're looking at, at uh, what the abilities are. So what are your strengths? Mm -hmm. And here you have to choose between a number of different strengths, uh, whether it's spiritual, physical, intellectual. So you want to choose the one that most clearly defines you. So, uh, mm. all right. Okay, so who, who are you leaning towards? I mean, would it be would the obvious choice for you be Chewbacca because he's a Wookiee? Well, for me, it's the loyalty uh, and principle of honor. So it, it's those principles that I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with Chewbacca. Okay. And, and so you swipe your bracelet. It, when it lights up, you know that you have then created okay. another level on your character. So I think that I'm going to gravitate towards Darth Vader because <laughs> I like the idea of join me and together we can rule the galaxy. Imagine a galaxy ruled by Wookiees, or excuse me, by uh, by Ewoks. Now did that light up for I you? I think that it did light up. Okay, good. So now, we've got to take a quick break, but before we go, let's spin around and take a look at uh, this display here. It's uh, just awesome.